ability to do chores, to clean the house and send your kids to school. It's totally fine on the outside. We are totally fine for you to make it a career, even though you are, even though and even if you have the qualifications to be a lot more of other things. The choices can be made on the outside. We offer you a choice. So before um, all the rebuttals and all the cases from the um, government side is going to be debated in my comparison. So I'm just going to recap what my member said. So first, she explained to you about the purpose of the feminist movement. It's just to make a woman feel empowered and to escape the patriarchal world, to escape the patriarchal society at any. So why is this true? Because if they are happy about what they are doing, let them be. The freedom of free will, the freedom of choice is only existing on the outside. Because the comparison on your side, under their side, they are shaming this woman, they are downgrading the jobs of these housewives and um, they are restricting women even more. So when they condemn, um, of course, this woman who wants to be a housewife will eventually get a job, but they don't have the passion to do so. And the, um, and the feminist movement, and who else is there uh, to support them if not the feminist movement, their side is problematic. So next, uh, my message also said uh, uh, on how um, supporting them uh, is to empower, uh, we can empower women and we can improve this woman's life because this uh, being a housewife is the choice of these women and these choices are valid and they are empowering them. So if they feel happy to just uh, spend their whole life cooking, let them be. If they, if they are happy to, I say, wear make, heavy makeup, let them be. So let's be realistic in the world today. So the feminists must take into account um, that women have the right to make choices. And even if um, it goes along with the patriarchal society, even, even if it goes along with the stigma, we think it's so much better than your side. When you restrict them from having this, right? when, you, when, when you make the patriarchal uh, um, system even worse. My uh, speaker also talk, uh, talked about how condemning the choice of uh, these uh, women who have the uh, degree holes uh, and coercing them to actually get jobs just destroys their lives much worse, right? Uh, but before that, uh, okay. Do you think that the way to break the patriarchal system is to prove that a man is wrong and actually do the thing that they that they would least want women to do? So how does this attempting is um, break, breaking the patriarchal system? So I'm, now I'm going to enter my comparisons and I'll uh, get to that. So first, the biggest um, issue on today's TV is about the stereotypes that's occurring today. And uh, my, uh, my member has been going on and on about how we reduce the stereotypes even more. So if I can prove to you today that just like creates more toxic stereotypes, we take this issue and eventually the whole thing. So women are more restricted, I mean just like women are more restricted uh, and they are tied up by the society. You know, now they, are, uh, they have more restrictions and, and we are tired of watching uh, women today not getting the support they need. And they are just like they are not even getting the support from this uh, feminist, uh, feminist movement. So next, uh, I'm going to explain more about stereotypes uh, later. Next, talking about commitment. So they say that commitment also affects other guys. But we believe that um, commitment is the best when it is the most. So as you can see that when you are with your children almost every second, uh, through their ups and downs and uh, the development of the children will of course increase and that's uh, like a totally better world to live in at the end of the day. I want my mother to see me grow every single day. Right? So just like once this mother to um, uh, the, this DG uh, holding uh, parents who and they are forcing them into the work uh, into the workforce and now they are busy and they get home late and only uh, be able to say how was your day. So we believe that's very wrong. So next, we are debating uh, on the most conven uh, convenient example on the outside because today's debate, like my uh, speaker before me, uh, I I'm going to say today's debate is not about how we are uh, forcing every DG holder to be housewives, right? So uh, the opposition side pushes to us, uh, the, um, uh, the, the government side pushes to us and says that on the outside, we, we want housewives to be the best career, we want everyone who has degrees to be a housewife. Because on the outside, we see that women, that if the woman has big dreams, if the woman wants to be a doctor, if the woman wants to be a lawyer, then be. We support them however, we support their choices. Um, if they want to go into a professional workforce, then go. So the moment you restrict their uh, choices, you believe that it's wrong. So if, if being a housewife is what they want, let them be. If being a lawyer is what they want, let them be. So under our world, we create happy individuals, we create happy mothers, we create happy lawyers. Yes. The moment when you don't let this other woman who want to escape from the social stigma of being a housewife, you are not supporting the feminist movement and you're not creating a happy society because you're not providing the freedom choice to other women to get high social standards. Yes. Yes. You, um, uh, 
um, I'll be talking about the conservative families that you've been talking about um, and you know, I, I'll uh, get to that piece. So next, I'm going to talk about the conservative families and how he just said that how uh, we are not doing anything to the students. So, okay, let's see what's happening in the conservative societies today. It's like they educate their children to stop dreaming that I mean, that's like they say that they're going to grow up and force to be housewife, that like you cannot be a lawyer you lose your housewife. We see that that is not the debate of today. So if the kid grows up and wants to pursue a higher education and if their parents go ask them to still be housewife, we will support the kid to pursue their education. We will support the kid to actually be the lawyer she wants to be. But if um, the debate today is about the free willing of the kid, the choice of the kid, the choice of the woman to become a housewife or to become or not become a housewife. So, okay, so even if, if you're debating under their side, in, in our world, is even if um, they, like these kids to choo choose to be a housewife because they feel morally obligated to, because like these parents, like, uh, because they feel morally obligated to their families, we believe that it's totally fine. If their uh, priorities are for the family and not for the whole family, we believe that get their priorities straight and we just support them however they want. So the technical flaws coming under their side, like they never explain how by coercing and condemning uh, will, uh, will increase the empowerment of this woman. Because assume when they get a career, the families will, uh, and they just assume that this family's woman will suddenly rise up. Uh, they didn't even talk about how oversaturated uh, the workforce is today. And we need to consider the fact that working in industries are really oversaturated. And when these women actually don't get a job because they don't have the passion to do so, they'll be more condemned and it will get worse. So conclusion, Mr. Speaker, that's why it's destroying this woman's lives even more at the end of the day. So how do we differ from the opening batch? So we actually explain deeply you know, how our site breaks this practical stigma once and for all and we provide, uh, provide to you more justification of what will happen when this site continues to condemn and when this site continues to force these people without passion. So if you want a world better not only for the women, for the kids, uh, for the whole society, go inside closing opposition.